the Midlands Axons Club has been uh, getting uh, wood out of here for nearly 20 years, I reckon, yeah. It is frustrating, um, as we've been around for uh, so many years, like over 50 years, and it's frustrating that the club could die. There'll be, um, there'll be only memories left. The club was uh, established back in uh, 1970. The timber's there, plenty of timber. Enough to keep an excellent club going for another couple hundred years. Been around this bush ever since um, growing up with my father, Harold. Yeah, we are a hardwood club, as um, we have been for many years. Uh, this uh, peppermint wood that we get from here and a bit of gum, so it's, um, it's a part of the club. We get the straightest tree that we could possibly find. Um, if we think that that tree has got enough, not enough logs in it to run an event, we, uh, we don't take that tree, we, we leave that tree behind. No wastage, um, all the heads and all that go to firewood. If changes come through, that we will have to try and source wood from somewhere else to try and keep our club um, alive. If the, that happens, the club will just die. And there's so many people relying on it. We, we do a fair few chops around this area for charity. It could be a fire brigade or it could be the hospital. Not too long ago at our Greendale Australia Day wood chop, we had a wood chopper that donated all of his first prize winnings to uh, the CFA that were there, just straight up. It's about the community for us. It's not about coming in and destroying the land and making a mess, it's bringing communities together. It's about everyone. Yeah, it's a lot of history, not only just here, but there's a lot of history going back, like the Royal Shows back there. We had some great axemen that uh, competing at Royal Shows back before the war and started again, and it's been going every year since. The great-grandson, yeah. You often wonder if you're going to uh, live long enough to see him uh, chop or, yeah. Oh, he's keen, young lad, yeah. And he seems to get on the log and knows what to do. It's good to see younger ones come along and, um, and um, achieve all those that you've sort of achieved. It's a, it's a privilege to pick up the axe and want to try and beat, you know, my grandfather or my father. And, you know, it's uh, that passion that they have is uh, very sentimental.